Have you ever sat on a toilet seat and wondered where the toilet paper come from? No? Well, since my brain is full of shit, I thought about it. So I'm gonna tell you. During the golden age in China, this was around like between 70 BC to 18 AD, people were shitting all over the place and they were not cleaning their bums properly. Okay, that wasn't a story, but this is the actual story, right? During the golden age in China, the paper process was invented by a guy named Kai Lun. Now Kai Lun was a member of the imperial court. He mixed mulberry bark, hemp and rags with water. Then he mashed it into a pulp and he pressed it all the water out and then he put it to dry. This was the first modern method of making paper. And in the 6th century, it was documented that paper was used widely in China. But anyway, the first modern toilet paper was used by the Chinese emperor himself in the year 1391. Each toilet paper was perfumed. Which brings me to what were they using before toilet paper? Now, the first thing they were using was their hands. Now the hands is still common nowadays in 2020. Basically, you go, you pour water, you wash with your hands, you wipe afterwards if you want. I don't know. Back in those days, if you were near a river or water source, then you go do your business and you wash with your hands. But if you didn't have water, what did you use? They would use rags, not onion sacks, huh? please. I can't imagine having to wipe with that. But they'll use things like wood shavings. Imagine using wood shavings to wipe your bum and then you get a splinter in your ass. Hey, hi. They use grass, leaves, hay, moss, snow, sand, stone, and even in some cases, seashells. Hold up. Now, you're telling me the whole scene in Demolition Man was fake. That thing was not futuristic. It was actually ancient. I refuse to believe that. But this also depended on the social customs of the people. For example, the rich people would pamper themselves with wool or lace or hemp. Whereas like the Romans would put a piece of sponge on a stick or cloth on a stick and they'll clean for like this. So a few years after they mentioned, the Bureau of Imperial Supplies were manufacturing 720,000 2 by 3 feet sheets of toilet paper. This was only for the Imperial Court and 150,000 of them was for the emperor and his family himself. How much were they shitting? That's what I want to know. Now, in the late 15th century, paper became available to the world, but toilet paper was first commercially packaged in 1857, but as flat sheets. By 1890, toilet paper ended up on a roll, but the company that was called Scott Paper Company didn't want to brand it. They didn't want to have anything to do with shit. Eventually, they, they learned it was a big business, so they decided to brand. And nowadays, you get different types of toilet paper. You get the dusty type, the one that when you wipe your bum, the cheap one that leaves feathers and dust. And then you get soft two-ply, you can just pamper your bum. And then you get other types of paper as well, like hand towels, etc, tissue, etc. And you thought learning about toilet paper was gonna be boring. Well, next time you go to the toilet to take a shit, let me tell you something, you will remember the name, OG Two Scoops. I mean, no, you will remember how uh, toilet paper was made. That's what I'm saying, right? Anyway, my name is OG Two Scoops. Think about what you remember when you go to toilet. Now, I'm in a period. I'm watching two scoops.